Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Today I'm going to be showing you the Haunted Mansion ColourPop collection. I don't have everything, but I do have a lot of it. We're going to first by showing you the Welcome Foolish Morals Pressed Powder Eyeshadow Palette. It's got 15 shades, and I usually would do the eye swatch video, so I would put each shade on my eye, but I ended up having to redo the eye look like four times. So by the end of it, my eyelids felt like they were about to fall off. So arm swatches as is what you're going to get today because we don't want my eyelids falling off. They already feel like they're on fire. I would say it's definitely more on the cool tone side. Lots of emeralds, like the purples and the greens. But it has a lot of shimmers and I had a hard time trying to show you the perfect lighting for that top row because it looked like white. But that's the top row. A lot of like iridescent sparkly shades, some were like more purple blue based, and ones were a champagne and one was more of a silver. There's the second row, very cute, and then the third row. I love that last black sparkly. Next I got the Madame Leota Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter Gel and it glows in the dark. I love these gels to put on my eyes, on my chest, if I'm going to a concert. It glows in the dark. I couldn't like resist it. Um, and they're just so fun. It looks cute on your chest and, and it's amazing. I'll show you a little clip here of it in the dark, but it obviously works in the dark, but it's very green based. Next is Super Shock Shadow in the shade Creepin. And it's a very icy blue. It reminds me of the Corpse Bride once again. I feel like she would use this as a highlighter. They did not put a, a Super Shock highlighter, highlighter out, but this will work just the same. I was kind of surprised they didn't, but anyways. I did want to show you some of the attempts that I did. And then I go into an actual chatty little video. But I wanted to show you some of the shades on my eyes. I'm going in with the shade Corridor of Doors which is exactly how it sounds. It's very gray based brown. I feel like I'm gonna love this for a crease color. And then we take the shade Graveyard Stroll, which is a matte dark gray, and we also buff that into the crease. Another shade I feel like I'm gonna love. And then we go ahead and buff it out. Portrait Chamber, it's very light. It looks pink in the pan, but on me, it looks more like of a lilac than a pink. And I did try to buff it with the shade New Orleans, which is a nice dark matte cool toned brown. Again, I feel like this could be such a simple little look and you could leave it on your its own, maybe add a little shimmer on the lid and it would be super cute. I'm gonna show you these because not every look turns out and not everyone looks good. Um, I do take the shade Have a Stretch, which is the nice vibrant metallic purple and I put that all over my lid and then I layered the inner part with the Psychic Medium, which is such a beautiful glitter. They've definitely changed the formula on this, so it's definitely more emollient, I would say, and less like dry. But this shade is stunning. I can't wait to wear this just on its own. I think it'll look beautiful. And this did look good, but then I tried to do a graphic eyeliner with the shade Hatbox, which is that sparkly sequin black. And this didn't look bad, but there was just something about it that I just wasn't feeling confident. Put a little inner corner of the bride, and then I put some of Ghost Host, which is that really shifty blue. We're gonna first go in with the Haunted Mansion Ultra Gloss Glossy Lip in the shade Graveyard Shift, which is exactly how it sounds. It's a pH gloss, and I love this stuff. I can't really get the notes on this. I would say it's kind of vanilla-y, but also kind of berry, but more on the vanilla side. But it's like one of those pH formulas, so it like changes with the pH in your lip, and it's super beautiful. It doesn't dry my lips out. It actually hydrates them really well did apply it with a lip liner just to see what that looked like and I loved that combo. Next we're going to shot watch all of the ultra matte liquid lipsticks from the Haunted Mansion collection. There's three. There's one that's called The Wear which is a nice brown toned cool nude and then there's Hitch Ride which is a vibrant purple plum stunning and then there's a deep oxblood brown kind of shade which is called Summoned Spirit. I used to love the ColourPop liquid lips, especially the matte ones, a long time ago. And once they dry down, they eventually do get transfer proof, but at first I was just experiencing a lot of transfer from these, and they're a little hard 
to get a nice even pigment. This is Hitch a Ride, which is that bright fuchsia berry, but it's more on like the vampy side. This is probably my favorite one, but, but there it is. Super cute, witchy. Next, we're going in with the shade Beware, which is that nice cool toned nude. I feel like if you mixed all three of these, it would make completely different shades. If you used Beware with either of those two darker ones, you would really lighten it up. You could make an ombre lip or you could just completely make a new shade. But this one's definitely more wearable. Next is the darkest shade, Summoned Spirits, that Oxblood shade. Again, cup colors like this and Hitch a Ride are just a little harder to apply in my opinion. You want to line your lips first and it does take quite a few layers to make sure it's like the same color and it's not patchy. But it does get there and it is pretty for fall. I just haven't worn a really dark lip like this in a while and it just felt a little abrasive. <laughs> but now we're going to start the real look and we did block out our really red eye lids from all the trauma I put them through is oh boy were they red and burning okay we're starting over for the fourth time um we are gonna do who knows what we're gonna do we'll see going to start with portrait chamber all over the eye which is a nice dusty lilac I would not call this palette beginner friendly and I wouldn't consider myself a beginner it's pretty, but I'm just struggling. So we're gonna create a more casual eye because not everyone is going out and about and having a bunch of parties or a super glam event. We're going to work and then we're coming home. So we're gonna do something, I think, purple. We're going to take a little shadow brush and we're going to dip it into have a stretch which is the metallic purple and we're going to create a cat eye this has a lot of fallout as you can already tell on my face so we're just gonna run that on the lash line this is a fun way to do purple without being a big smoky purple eye It's like falling out of the pan. I'm feeling it might be the super shock formula because she's struggling. There we go. If we want to clean it up, we're going to use a Q-tip. Just going ahead and doing a little copy paste onto the other eye. Now that we've done the purple, we are going to take the most beautiful shade in the palette, Psychic Medium. I need to get like a silicone brush, like angled brush because its formula might pick up better that way. We're going to layer that over that liner. So pretty. And I just kept layering the two until I got the desired look. Okay. We're going to clean these up and be right back. We're back, they're clean, and there's so much glitter on my face. It's insane. But it's giving twilight skin and all. I'll accept it. Um, I've decided I want to create a graphic so it goes purple and then layer it. Whew, that's intense. Done. And then we'll put the glitter on it. I like doing this shape because it's super easy. Those the same. Okay, now we're gonna layer that glitter on it. I already like this look a lot better than the crazy ones I did. Not that this is like every day. I mean, you could wear it every day, I'm going to. It just shows you, you don't always have to do a giant smoky eye to have fun. it I'm kind of tempted to put something on my lid there's a lot of stuff in here maybe a little in our corner we are gonna try layering ghost host over the inner corner just a little Ooh, adds a nice blue reflect we might put that all over this liner Mm -hmm. 
We're going to take the bride on our inner corner and we're just gonna use our finger and just kind of buff it in. I'm gonna take that on our brow bone just a little, just a little touch. Okay, and then we're gonna clean it up again and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. We are going to take a little of Endless Hallway to brighten that lid space up just a little bit. It's a nice ashy gray. It's like a very light taupe, but has more gray in it. Is that taupe? <laughs> I'm gonna throw that so it breaks it up a little. Okay, we are going to pop on some lashes and complete the eye look, I think. There is the eyelash. There is that completed look with some lashes. Even if you mess this up, kinda. I feel like lashes kinda hide any imperfection. Make it look a little better. And because I'm feeling a tiny bit extra, we're gonna use the glitter and attempt to put some of this on our eye. I'm not sure how I wanna do this. I feel like I might ruin it. I'm just gonna put it here. Just a little, just because I'm scared. I'm going to finish my face and then we'll come back to the lips and the highlighter. Okay, we're back. Um, we're gonna take Creep In Super Shock Shadow and apply it to my cheekbones, like a highlighter. It's very blue. And because I wanted to use one of the shadows as a highlighter too, I decided to use Sans Circle, which is more of a champagne gold, and top it over the blue just to tie it down a little bit and highlight my nose, and to put a little bit more in my inner corner. Just to add more of that blue. Cute! And in my inner corner, creeping. I like that blue on my inner corner. We're going to line our lips with the Rem Beauty Lip Liner, my favorite one. Let's try just this first. That is cute. More of an everyday look. It's a little bit of a... I do like that, but I'm going to add some of the purple. Again, that liquid lip shade is Hitch a Ride, a very vibrant plummy purple. And I'm just using it on my finger and trying to create a nice subtle wash. This is a good way to do like a more subtle version of this lip. But I do go ahead and put the full pigment on. Both are good, but the full pigment without the gloss will be more transfer proof than it would be with that lip gloss. And here is the completed Vampy Haunted Mansion makeup look. I think it turned out really cute. Even after all that struggle, I put my poor eyelids through pretty but messy and hard to um i feel like apply uh, my favorite liquid lipsticks are the ren beauty ones and i feel like those don't transfer so i hope you liked this a fun kind of everyday a little less crazy makeup look kind of bampy kind of fairy core with the glitter look. It's not in your face Halloween spooky haunted mansion, but it's a little more subtle and a little bit more wearable for the everyday. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I have a video out at least once a week. I'm trying to do more, but life is lifing. One is all I can do right now, but have a great day or night wherever you are.